Advancements in deep learning computer vision and natural language processing. How about how about Jensen Wong from NVIDIA? For the last five days, we've had to hear about how major players like Amazon Alphabet and Meta are developing their own chips and decreased reliance of NVIDIA while Intel comes up with a competitive product. The news, let's put some quotes around that the news has crushed NVIDIA stock, creating a presumption that these key clients are moving to quickly distance themselves from the company and Break Jensen Wong's stranglehold on the super pus, if only they could now think back to when I last interviewed Jensen I asked him directly about this competition multiple times, because I knew it was coming each time he made several things very clear one these companies will remain great clients too, right now, he simply can't give them everything they want be purely because he can't produce enough chips to satisfy DIM and 3 he's doing his best to help these clients develop these kinds of semiconductors he can't understand. What's the big deal he comes in peace who's din he's a visionary who's delivered on every promise and created $2.3 trillion colossus along the way he's been doubted, as if he were some sort of alchemist a three-card mining dealer now all I hear right now is that he's the man behind the AI bubble, as though this is the doton period all over again 1999, maybe 2000 that kind of thinking has kept people from making fortunes in the stock of NVIDIA what? Much value does he need to, to bring out to create before people realize that doubting NVIDIA has in fact been a very poor decision. He's not the con artist you know who's the con artist the bears are oh, and those claims that Intel's got the better the Bank of America Securities analyst VC Arya maintains a by rating on NVIDIA with a price target of $1,100 Arya's analysis of NVIDIA's recent correction in the stock market provides valuable insights into the company's long-term growth potential. Competitive position and market dynamics. Let's bring in Matt Bryson, Senior Vice President of Research at Web Web Bush Securities. Matt, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, is this chip from Intel a game changer either for Intel or for the sector? I don't think so. This is the third iteration of this chip. Um, and when you think about where NVIDIA is getting all of its business, um, it's not through, uh, for the most part, the OEMs that, uh, were mentioned by Intel when they talked about where the chip was going to get. Sold rather, um, you've had NVIDIA tell you that tell us that 50% of their businesses are the cloud service providers, um, they've mentioned before that social media, um, is as a major in market, uh, all those buyers are buying through, uh, ODMS for the most part, um, I, I would suggest that 80% plus of IND's business is those large type customers that that Intel doesn't have yet, right? This feels like it's more about Intel than it is. NVIDIA and Matt, and I just wonder if you think that Pat Ginger is trying to bite off too much, he's trying. To create a foundry business essentially from scratch, and he's also trying to keep up with some of the other big players than AI at this point. Do you can you do it all? I I think it's it's really hard to do it all now. Now having said that, um, for Intel, I think the most important piece to get right is is the fab piece. If you can get the fab piece right, um, that market. Furthermore, Arya points to Nvidia's strong pipeline of products as a catalyst for future growth. In particular, Arya highlights the upcoming launch of the Blackwell chip. Designed specifically for generative AI applications, this new product is expected to further enhance NVIDIA's competitiveness in the AI market and drive revenue growth in the coming quarters. Uh, you can compete in your core markets, which are PCS and a standard uh, compete for servers. Um, and then I think you have an opportunity to go after AI and Intel does have a larger architectural shift ahead. They have a product called Falcon Shores coming out in 2025, I think, for Intel if they're going to make it in AI. It's it's. Probably that product dumb that that makes it or breaks it for them it's in such a tricky position because it's trying to keep up with AMD and NID on one hand, but its current business is also being disrupted by some of its biggest customers, right the mega cap customers, so how does that all shake out, and is that acceleration on the one hand enough to make up for the decline that it's seeing and its more traditional chip sum? Again, I think it really comes down to whether they can succeed in foundry and in 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 their fab business. If they can get their fabs right um too, to some extent, they can be the fab for the new Google chip, they could be the fab for Amazon products um, and well can it though, because you've got TSMC and Samsung developing here as well, why would a company choose to work with Intel when it's so new to this business um, you it all depends on on how you execute right, so who, whoever has the, the best of fabs um, will, will win that business and I think it will take, take time for Intel to get things right um. Things right um, but then also in their core businesses um so, if I'm thinking about developing my my own PC chip all Apple um, I may not be able to compete with Intel on price if they have a good fabs or if they have a good fab behind their own ship because they they'll be able to get that ship at cost um and so again, I think it all comes down to Intel's work on on the fab side um and I think it's still a kind of TBD uh to figure out whether or not they they've gotten things right there is the idea here I. 
Here I mean and Christina sort of hinted at it is the idea that Intel is going to to be to the extent that it competes in these areas that it is going to compete as the low price a provider here and and that's that's a tough place to make money I I don't think Intel's goal position overall Arya remains optimistic about Nvidia's prospects viewing the recent correction as a temporary setback amidst a broader growth trajectory with Nvidia's leadership in AI robust product pipeline compelling Valuation and established customer base Arya sees the current dip in NVIDIA stock as a buying opportunity for investors seeking exposure to the RAP LY expanding AI market. It leads me Jason to you with this NVIDIA move that you've trimmed, so you know you you join a group of people on this show who over time have trimmed this name now, it was in a you know a 10% drawdown which means nothing of of late and it has been snapped. Up including today by the way with NVIDIA, shares up 2 and A3 per. So why? You trim it now as the price target by the way goes to $1,110 from $850 at Raymond James today yet, yeah, so I mean Scott you know it we we talk about it a lot stocks up close to 80% year to datum you know so for us, it's 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 above our benchmark you know where we are in our growth portfolio so uh and we've trended several times throughout throughout especially over the last two years. Um and and for us here you know this is not an indictment on the stock it's not it's not a reaction to. What we. Hear from Intel or other players that are looking that are producing chips maybe at a cheaper price that's not the deal at all this is portfolio management, as is boring, as it might sound it is something that we need to do of uh, the GTGTC conference was very impressive, all the partnerships that there that they've discussed I think even what what's going on with there are inference microservices and what they're able to deliver a uh, for.